Vancouver, su historia de Vancouver. C'est quoi ton histoire, Vancouver? ¿Cuál es tu historia, Vancouver? What's up, Vancouver? Welcome back. We're here with Alex Hennessy. He is one third of Global Degree and co founder. Final call for Global Degree passengers flying to every country in the world. So Alex, what's your story? Where are you from? Okay, so I'm a Vancouverite for sure. I'm 35 now. I've lived in Vancouver for 27 years, but my well, my adolescence was definitely in uh, raised in Winnipeg, but I've been in Vancouver for the most part. So we've uh, we started a project called Global Degree. The idea is essentially trying to uh, travel the entire planet over the course of five years and through the process producing video content or almost like a, a travel series, which would be educational and uh, promotional, trying to encourage people of a younger demographic to go and explore and to experience other cultures. Uh, I, I find that travel has been the most educational thing that I've ever done in my life, so I look at how just going and having an actual experience in another country could be as educational as if you were, as if to read a book or, you know, I am a hands-on learner. So by going and actually and immersing myself in Peru, I've got a way better grasp on their culture and their history and all of that kind of stuff than if I was to read a book. So what gave you this crazy idea to travel the world and, and, and document it? So my business partner, Mike, he went to Thailand and had kind of an epiphany moment where he realized that he was just having the most fun that he's ever had and just was like really feeling elated. And I had a similar experience. I'm eight years older than he is, uh, but we both had a very similar experience while traveling through Asia. And so he came up with the idea to travel the world and managed to actually, because it's such an ambitious idea, through, th through some very well put together PDFs and PowerPoint presentations, he, he managed to put together a small amount of sponsorship. I myself had actually traveled in 2006 through Asia. I was fresh out of film school and I'd filmed about an hour and a half long travel documentary. So that kind of sparked my passion for film and for travel and just the combination of those two. And then in 2010, I went with a group of guys back to Asia and tried to put, a, put together like a, essentially a, uh, a pilot for a travel show that we were gonna market towards a bunch of American companies. And it didn't go exactly the way that we had planned, but it was a very educational experience for me and I kind of figured out why it didn't work out and what would need to be changed to take a second stab at it. And then Mike and I were put together uh, on Facebook through mutual friends. He made a Facebook post and so somebody tagged my name and he and I met each other one time. He and I discussed the project and we were both totally on the same page as each other as to what we wanted to put together. And then I uh, subletted my apartment, quit my job, packed up all my camera gear, I owned all the gear and Mike had already kind of put together some sponsorship, which was almost kind of like the soil for us to grow in. And we set off and we did all of Central and South America. I, it was, he was kind of like a stranger to me. I just took a chance. But very quickly, he and I connected and clicked and, uh, and managed to do all of Central and South America. So you just jumped right in the deep end. Just re right? You know, I just figured like, what's the, what's the worst thing that could have happened, that could happen here? I'm like, okay, worst case scenario, I travel Central and South America. I could have always broken off if, I, if we didn't get along, but he and I got along really well. So the whole thing's just kind of grown from there. You mentioned you went to film school. Where did you go? Yeah, I went to Vancouver Film School. I believe that was in 2003? 2000. No, 2000. When was 9-11? 2002? 2001. I was in 2001. I remember going to VFS when the whole 9-11 happened. So that was eight years ago. And then after that, I started working in, on film sets and I didn't really, I was doing a production assistant work and I felt that I had so much more to offer so I kind of figured that I could probably start just producing my own stuff. And so then I just started up a little uh, production company called Hennessy Entertainment and I would shoot things around the city and side gigs and jobs here but nothing that was actually to this scale. What did you study at, at the film school? Uh, film foundation. So it was kind of a well-rounded program, covered cinematography, editing, directing, producing, all of that stuff, set design. There's some classes that I really excelled at, some that clearly I'm not pursuing. How has Global Degree evolved and where, you, where are you taking it? Well, the, it was just really much, very much like a pipe dream at the beginning and because we treated it like a job and actually put something together, the whole thing really grew and our sponsors grew from that. 
And, and because of that as well, there was a following that came from that. And so now it's become something that's much bigger than just Mike and myself and now Andrew who's joined us. It's now become a really large community of people that use our, our channel to discuss with each other where to go traveling or to give travel tips or just to meet people when they're, when they're on, the road, on the road. So it's, yeah, it's very much kind of connected a, a travel group, a travel community. And now I read that you are, you can now study abroad with you guys. That's what we're putting together at the moment, right. So we, uh, we're gonna help facilitate people to go and actually have a trip that's similar to one, the ones that we've been doing, which are very large scale trips. And in the, while doing that, actually help facilitate them get a degree or a diploma of some sort with online courses that are provided through universities. So right now it's, it's just picking up and starting. Um, we haven't launched that quite yet, but like I said, we, we do feel that travel itself should be considered a, an actual form of education and it should be credited. It should be credited, right? It should be like when I'm done doing this entire project in two years, I will have traveled the entire planet and that alone has some serious value to it just for uh, like on, on tons of different scales, like on artistic, religious, political, on tons of things because you kind of get a grasp on where the world's at. What made you want to get into film? Yeah, I was always very artistic. My father started the Sea Fox radio station. It's a local radio station here. And so he was a radio disc jockey when I was growing up. So he got me really into music. But then my mother is a painter. And so I was always kind of just, I was kind of groomed that way. of My artistic and creative side always excelled. But then I remember one day somebody telling me that if I was ever gonna make any money as a painter, it's gonna happen after I fall, after I pass away. And so I'd probably have to be a teacher of, of art instead of an actual painter, which was, I'm, I was pretty young when they told me that. So it almost, it had a pretty profound impact on me. So I decided to kind of switch my gears. I figured that film was gonna be a, a, a better way for me to make a realistic income. And so I just kind of went that way. Now I don't know if that's actually true. I'm sure that, I'm sure that if I'd focused my energy on painting and drawing that I could have made a living that way as well. But I'm happy that I chose film. It's taken me to where I am now and it's, it's definitely a passion. Besides your parents, any other influences in your life? You know, growing up, I was, I was really into a lot of uh, like skateboard and snowboard videos. So I, my style of editing kind of stemmed from that. A lot of it was like cutting to music and doing creative ed edits. Um, so definitely uh, Spike, Spike Lee, or Spike Jones, Spike Lee, sorry, Spike Lee. He was, he was, I thought he was really cool. He made a bunch of music videos that did very well, but he brought his whole career out into the limelight through doing these really well put together skateboard videos. So I thought, I always thought he was awesome. But then, you know, just motion pictures, uh, they've always had such a strong impact on me that I can see how just the combination of a visual and audio and everything can have, can really be profound and so I know there's a lot of different different uh, directors out there, or like Soderbergh. And I don't know I love all like the Spielberg movies. And Do you have a mentor? Um, to to some degree, but I haven't as much as I probably would have liked to. I think that I've really taught myself to go and like search out, like ask the questions. And the online's been my mentor. Like pretty YouTube. I'm a very much a student of YouTube. Any little trick with video or film or audio, I just look it up on YouTube and sometimes my teacher is a 15 year old kid in London and he's like, all right guys, today's lesson is this. And I'm like, I love that this kid is teaching me how to do motion tracking right now or something, you know? Right, and then, and then you apply it to one of your projects and then it kind of sits in your memory bank and you learn how to do it. So I always just ask, try to, I, I'll, I'll see a video and I see something that's really cool and unique about it, something that's stylistic about it and then I'll just start asking the right questions as to how to produce that on my own accord. I don't like, I, I find with art, like I don't ever want to like necessarily copy somebody's art, but if you try to apply somebody's style to your own project, it's never going to come across as a direct copy, I find. Like, it's always going to come across as, like you're always going to come through, like your, your creation is going to come through in it. So I definitely, I, I definitely am inspired and steal little ideas from tons of different videos when I'm putting stuff together.